Arlene Howe, Helen Jennings, and Pam Turgeon are three Kelowna women who have all lost children as a result of overdose. They are hoping to bring change to the community through education and support. My son Stephen passed away January 31st, 2015 of a fentanyl-related overdose. I lost my oldest son in uh, August of 2011. Ryan died of a prescription drug overdose following an accident. And uh, then in January of 2016, I lost my youngest boy, Tyler, to a uh, fentanyl poisoning. I lost my son, Ryan, um, February the 1st, uh, 2016, to a fentanyl overdose. These women are all members of Mom Stop the Harm, which is an advocacy group that supports those who have lost someone as a result of drug use. So we advocate for uh, a change in drug policy and uh, to keep uh, people with substance use disorder safe and alive until we have uh, treatment options and recovery options for them. Residents can expect to see these women around Kelowna on the sides of many of the BC Transit city buses. Kelowna residents are going to see a very powerful picture of 15 women in Knox Mountain Park. We, d we did this picture just before International Overdose Awareness Day in August and um, the photo went viral. So after the picture went viral, we, we thought we needed to do something even more for it. So one of our moms approached uh, BC Transit and Lamar companies and said, you know, we've got this powerful, impactful picture that um, we want to bring to the public. We're just moms who have lost our kids and we would not be on a bus in a photograph if we had not lost them to uh, to substance misuse. So part of that is to pull at the heartstrings of the community as well so that they see us and we're just like everybody else and this could be anybody's child. We actually hope that they'll reach out to us so that we can help more families like the ones that we already are helping and be and open the conversation so everybody sees that photo and how impactful it is to our community. Um, and we do this every day in memory of our children. When you see the bus and you see the photo, you'll understand that we do this because it could happen to your child. So we want you to know that we're out there and we're fighting every day to bring change to this crisis. So um, we just want you to know that we're here and that uh, we'd really like to help. Moms Stop the Harm provides support for those with loved ones in active drug misuse as well as those who have lost someone as a result of an overdose. For more information you can visit MomStopTheHarm.com. For Castanet News, I'm Miriam Halpenny in Kelowna.